Hello, family. Hey, 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 hey. How have y'all been doing? I know I've been gone for a minute. Yes, I have. I think about a week and a couple of days or something of that nature. Well, I apologize for being away from you all. But your girl has definitely been busy. Yes, my daughter a week and a half ago had called herself wanting to get married on her fiance's birthday, which was May 8th. And we're going back and forth to see how we can pull it off. We didn't get to invite a lot of our family members. We only kept it to 10 people. And it's already four in our household. So you just had my brother, his wife, his son that did the pictures for us. And you had the minister. And we had uh, my son-in-law's um, father and um, his brother. And we had my decorative um cousin who did her flower arrangements and if anybody pays attention to my facebook page i post a lot of pictures she posts a lot of pictures so they are out there very excited she was a beautiful bride she didn't get a chance to wear her white gown and all like that but we got it you know similar to close to her colors which was blue gold and white and we planned on definitely doing something when everything gets better where we can invite our entire family and his side of his family and stuff so that's where i've been then i found out uh the cousin that did my decorations we have somebody in our family um that has contracted the covid uh nine nine nineteen whatever it is now the deadly virus okay she's 91 years old keep her in your prayers but she's doing substantially well to be her age you know she's getting fluids at the nursing home that she's at she hasn't been able to see her mom since february so she's been like talking through the nurses to find out about her mom but uh, it's just one of them things, them times we living in. And I tell you, I've been running a fever here, a low-grade fever. Um, if I didn't take medication like Tylenol, I'm pretty sure I may get into a 100 or something. But I've been doing my due diligence. I, you know, I think it's hay fever. I kind of feel like, the, you know, the flu a little bit because I had chills. And I've had some diarrhea, but I think it's becoming because I've been eating food that I normally don't eat. But just to say that, trying to catch up with y'all a little bit, be kind to yourselves. Whatever everybody's out there doing as far as getting back to what they call a life of living the norm, stay your asses in the house. Be uh, due diligently. Don't go out there in the public, eating at these restaurants and doing this, that, and third. Keep yourself safe. Wear your mask. Get your disinfectants going because it's, it, you know, it's, it's not something to play with. So I say that to say this, I know how it affects someone because firsthand I have someone in my family who has COVID-19. So it's a sad thing, but, you know, like I said, she's a real trooper. She's a fighter and, you know, it just is what it is, the times that we're living in. So do yourself a favor. If you're living with other family members, remember them when you're going out trying to say you want to be you want your life back in this that and the third because in a sense your life is not your own anymore you're affecting everybody else's lives that are surrounded by you so be uh leery where you go the crowds you hang out in is it worth losing a loved one that way you know you had a part to play in it okay but let's get on down to this real housewives of atlanta and me getting back with you all i just want to give you that little introduction of where i've been what i've been doing you know, how I'm feeling, you know, what's going on in my life, this, that, and the third. But now we're bringing it back to the reality shows. And we all have been waiting for the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion to come to play. Part one uh, was shown tonight. And I'm going to tell you, Portia Williams was the MVP player, most valuable player. She was checking everybody off that she felt she needed to get back with the get back with. She tore into Eva. She tore into Kenya. She was trying to give Cynthia some leg work up about, hey, girl, uh, Kenya is not all what she seemed, honey. Don't let Candy and Kenya fool you, girl. They coming for your spot. And if Candy got in a sense, she'll know if she coming for Cynthia, she's going to come for her one day. But, you know, Candy, you know, it just is what it is. Because I hear they're in talks with 
uh, Phaedra Parks allegedly trying to bring her back. And we're going to see if uh, Candy Burris is true to form. She said that if they bring Phaedra back, she is walking. Okay, so we're going to see if she can walk that walk and talk that talk. Because she ain't going to be on the platform where she says she got to go. So we're going to see if Candy be true to form. Because I want them to bring Phaedra Parks back. And if Candy can't stand to hit in the kitchen, I guess she must go. But if she stays, y'all know for a fact she needs this platform. Okay, that's all I'm saying. But anyway, let's go on and get into some favorite scenes that I liked it. Um, it was one scene about, they're talking about Cynthia being a punk. Of course, Nene and, uh, was necessarily calling Cynthia a punk. And, you know, Portia was trying to clean it up on where she was coming from, the 50 Cent versus you know, the Cynthia, meaning Cynthia is the punk. And when she comes out, want to have a lot of words to say here and there, she's 50 Cent. So uh, they were really trying to explain Cynthia's uh, alter ego she may possess at some time. Okay, but we know Cynthia's just, you know, Cynthia's just Cynthia, okay? Like I said, she's neither here nor there with me. I kind of like her in a sense because she's just neutral. She just wants to fit in where she can get in. And it seems like, allegedly, she may not have a role next uh, season. She may be reduced to a friend of the show or whatever. And if she, you know, I'm like, hey, Cynthia, if they were going to reduce you, go on, let them reduce you and get that check still. Money coming in is money coming in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I hear that you don't put Lake Bailey up for sale. So I'm like, girl, I wouldn't have did that. I would have rent Lake Bailey out, but not put Lake Bailey up for sale because you just never know. You know what I'm saying? You just never know how Mike going to portray himself later on down the road. Because in the reunion, they did ask you with the coronavirus and things are going on, the pandem pandemic situation we're in, are you still going to be getting married? And I'm like, sure, Cynthia, if you, you know, if you want to, you still can get married. Just have t uh, less than 15. 10 is the max. But if you want to have a little bit more, just keep the distance and keep your people rotating out. You know what I'm saying? Don't have them all congregated because that's basically what happened with ours. We had 16 total, meaning myself and the family that live here. And but the people that were originally here for, you know, the wedding. But after the wedding was over, it's like they were getting their place and they were leaving. You know, they all had masks on. So we didn't really get the full effect of having, you know, 16 people in our house for, you know, over an hour or two. So they really just came for her ceremony and they went on about their business. So because they know I was, I was for real about that. Don't you cough. Don't you sneeze. Don't you do nothing. Okay. You barely can breathe. All right. But anyway. Uh, going back, you know, I do my sidebars here and there. I still ain't did nothing with that, but, uh, but put them in here and there. Then we had another, uh, little, uh, part where Cynthia is doing her reunion on the show over at Mike's place in Los Angeles. And I said, okay, it might be some truth to that. She might be selling her house down here in Georgia and gonna, gonna stay up there with Noelle. Cause if Noelle don't plan on coming back, ain't no sense of you having your child and you ain't even married to this man up there living uh, with him. And yeah, it, it just ain't right. So uh, uh, kudos to you, Cynthia, for going up there and hopefully staying until you do get married or, or whatnot. But, honey, rent your house out. Rent your house out. Especially if you pay for it. And if you just lease the house and, and you ain't making no mortgage payments to try to own it, that's a totally different situation. Okay? Because y'all be fooling us sometimes. Just like we thought Candy or I thought Candy was coming strong with that house. And I'm still thinking if she leased them cars, she'll probably be leasing that house. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay? But it is where it is. Where we are with that. So maybe Cynthia really don't own her house. Maybe she's leasing it. Okay? But anyway, um, Andy has said to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, uh, he said the Shady Bunch. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, Andy. You don't team, you don't deem the Real Housewives of Atlanta ladies the Shady Bunch. That's what you're trying to say. Well, what are you saying about those people in Orange County? What are you saying about those people in New York, Beverly Hills? What what you saying about them? Okay, the Sadiddy Bunch or whatever. But he always trying to tag these black women down him. Because white women shade just as well as black women. You know what I'm saying? So why you got to tag the black woman? Why you got to tag the black woman show, Andy? But anyway, 
Oh, moving on. And then um, Kenya, they give us a tagline about she has to dress up. She has to look pretty to read a bitch. That's so tired to lay it through. Okay, I'm tired of hearing that. Get something else if we're going to have you on for season 13. Okay, which I'm sure Kenya will be back. It just is what it is. She made for good reality TV show. She loves to play the villain. She does it well. So, hey, it is what it is. But I say if we bringing Kenya back, bring Nene back too. Okay, but anyway. We go to another segment I thought it had impressed me. Uh, Candid was saying she was the only one that did her hair and her makeup, her look. And I was pleased with it. Yes, I was. It was okay. You know what I'm saying? She did. She had to do what she had to do. And it, it looked very nice. Eva said she did something. I, You know, I, when Eva opened up her mouth, I, I'd just be like, okay, commercial break. <laughs> But I don't know what she did. She might have said she did her hair, but there's nothing to do to her hair. It's flawless. It has the waves in it. She got to do nothing, put some mousse in it, and, and there you go. But that makeup, no, she probably had, you know, I'd be like, you know, and it was like, okay, y'all said y'all did y'all own makeup, this, that, and third, but I've been, I was seeing people with y'all. But the only people that called themselves calling uh themselves out was candy and eva eva could have just just shut the shit up or that shut her own self down but it just is what it is okay then um they go about uh and was asking some questions on kenya about mark and this that and the third and kenya said she likes being called ken i'm like no you don't Kenya. you could see like every time he calls you ken you be looking confused okay that's not a pet name that's not like baby cakes and and sugar pie no ken is ken i'm like is he representing you as a man or something honey what's going on with that but you were all cool you said you liked it we didn't we didn't as viewers we don't like him calling you ken your name is ken yeah okay if he want to call you a pet name do something like sugar case baby case boo-boo bear something like that endearing but ken uh-uh you could fool everybody sometime but you can't fool everybody all the time can you get with it and Portia was tearing into your ass and i ain't gonna lie i was loving every minute of it because you were just lying you were just lying you were just lying pretty little liar is what you are but anyway going back to it um another little scene i like this when cynthia's talking about how bad mark talks to kenya and she hit the nail on the head yes he totally disrespects kenya he puts her in her place how he feels she needs to be put in her place and she don't say nothing she don't come with nothing she just let him go on and, and be all and then she gonna talk about well um i don't know how to, to defend myself with people that i feel love and care about me what the hell are you talking about kenya people that love and care about you would never put you in a position where you have to defend yourself against them you see what i'm saying love is love and if they love you they ain't gonna embarrass you they ain't gonna you know say uh really nasty things about you in public or so where somebody can print it out and do a vlog on it and, and put it out for the masses they're not gonna come on the show and treat you like the bottom gum under the bottom of your shoe baby what are you talking about and you say you have a hard time you can't defend yourself against family members that you feel love you but you can defend yourself on on haters and, and people coming for you negatively you can do that girl are you oh girl can we just oh girl i'm like can you can you can you can you can you make it make sense because you're not making no sense all right um but yeah, Cynthia, you know, Cynthia was calling you out about your relationship with Ma. Girl, and then you pretty much calling him out the whole season. You know, saying he was not respecting you enough by cutting off a relationship that he had, you know, with somebody in his past. And then he tried to clean that up. And then he tried to say he had made a totally 360 turn. He wants to be, you know, more into the family thing. Y'all going to counseling. I'm like, girl, the lies. Just stop it. Just, just say you're in a bad situation and you trying to work out work it out for the best parts of you in brooklyn that's basically what you could have said and left it at that but anyway we're just gonna move on um king comes out and says she don't want to revisit the past she tired of people dredging up stuff from the past if she want to be evil if she want to uh talk about people bad she want to cuss out a person she gonna do it okay she want to call you a hoe she gonna do it all right but then she like if you come for me i'm coming for you you know and and don't get mad at how i come out at it and ah she was just a hot mess i ain't gonna lie i couldn't believe all the lies i was just like oh can we take a commercial break she getting on my nerves um so basically that's how Porsche was pretty much you know playing it 
uh, Kenya tells Portia her man hit her. Now, I don't know if she talking about Cordell Stewart or is she talking about Dennis McKinley. I got, I kind of got confused, you know, because they were just arguing back and forth and forth and back. And it, it just didn't make too much sense. But they were trying to handle each other at the time. Uh, then Candy tries to take up for Kenya against Nene and Portia. And I'm like, Candy, sit down, okay? Sit down. Okay, we don't want to hear about you. We don't want to hear you going in trying to help Kenya. Kenya don't need no help. Kenya definitely can defend herself, okay, against the masses, all right? Really, all the ladies can defend themselves in their own special way. But, no, nah, Kenya, Kenya don't need to help her, Candy. No, not at, not no time soon, not no time in the future, okay? Giddy got a good, baby. You need to be looking at and hearing what people are saying about Kenya. All right, and seeing if any of it rings true, baby. But anyway, moving from that situation, um, then you just get tired of <laughs> fussing with Candy and anybody, Kenya, and anybody else wanted to call for her. She just said, fuck this shit. And she closed the computer down and she went on about her marriage way. And Nanny couldn't believe she had turned off her uh, visuals or she had put up, you know, put a computer on pause or just shit the laptop down. I don't know what Nanny did. But when she finally came back, after we came back from a commercial, she said she had to go change her tampon. She had to go to the bathroom. I'm like, Nanny, such nasty, so rude, girl. Just say you just got tired of fussing with the women. The only thing you could do is just shut down the computer for a few minutes, okay? But it wasn't like she wasn't coming back. That was just her drama field thing. Was it right? Hell no. Was it drama file? Oh, yes. <laughs> that was funny, though. But anyway, could you not expect Nene to walk out or, or close out her computer for a few minutes? You know, she had to give it to you that way. Um, Let me see. And then it was a cute saying when Nene was talking to Eva, talking about you trying to take that little cute plum and turn it into a peach. I'm like, wait a minute. Is she not <laughs> a peach? But I guess Nene was saying she's trying to hold it together so she can get on season 13. But she ain't going to have it. She said, I can't with you. <laughs> she talking about, you talking about your rewards and all your accolades. That was 17 years ago, baby. We talking about now. I don't need you. <laughs> I tell you, that woman is a trip. And I didn't like the fact that Candy was, um, was it, no, was it Candy? Or was, no, it was Eva called Nene a bitch. I didn't like that. I'm like, uh, no, she didn't. She said an uh, old lady or something like that. She's an old lady. I'm like, girl, Eva, you're going to be old one day too. So don't knock the tree. You, you, you just a couple of years or, you know, not a couple, but several years. But it's coming, baby, if you get a chance to see that longevity, okay? Uh, so, yeah, don't, don't be calling, uh, Nene, no, uh, old lady, cause you're gonna be one sooner than you think, sooner than later, honey, sooner than later. Um, and then <laughs> Nene told Eva, uh, you need to go back to L.A. and lick some bottoms. I'm like, what? What are they talking about? Wow. And I'm like, okay, it was out there known, allegedly, that, um, while, Eva was in L.A. She used to have some uh, women on women contact. She was a lesbian or practicing in a lesbian pool out there. And that's what she used to do. Lick the carpet if you must. All right. Uh, and so Nene was telling her, go back home, honey. You, you ain't ready for Atlanta. <laughs> you, you ain't ready for this, honey. You got to come with some longevity. You got to come with something. Because right now, you ain't giving up nothing. You ain't serving us nothing. And then Eva going to tell me her house is $1 million. No, ma'am. <laughs> I'm like, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. And I do live in Atlanta, okay? I'm like, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. I could see um, Cynthia Bailey because, you know, she got that lake in the bag and, and stuff of that nature. Hers is close to one million, if not. Uh, Nene definitely is. Candace definitely is. Um, and who else we dealing with? Who we working with? I wouldn't even say Kenya House is a million. Okay, but I'm like, uh, uh, Eva, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Those are not million-dollar houses you live in, baby. They might be 600 and I'm being generous when I say that. But they're, they're not a million. They're not a million, baby. Okay. But anyway, moving from that. <sighs> anyway. 
Uh, then, you know, um, Andy brings in Tanya and Marlo. Uh, going, cause we're getting t towards the end of uh, part one reunion. Well, definitely, uh, Portia owned it. She did, she did, she did. She she called Eva out so much. It was funny. It was fun. It was hilarious, okay? Eva could not uh, pitch hit against uh, Portia. She was in rare form tonight. But, uh, like I said, Eva called Nene, Lisa, old bitch. And Candace is called by Tanya. Uh, KMZ, you know, mimicking off TMZ, the glo uh, global uh, gossip entertainment news sector with Harvey Levin. Uh, she goes around. She was the bone collector for three seasons now. And, you know, she was carrying a lot of information on, you know, Portia and Nene getting back together and how she didn't like it and how uh, Portia and Tanya was trying to come for, you know, uh, Kenya by representing that Kenya has a false relationship with uh Cynthia and you know Candace like no 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 Portia and Nene our relationship is fake to my oh I needed you I missed you I'm like Candace stop it you trying to make drama where it is none like you said Nene was on her apology tour uh and she was checking everybody hell you met with her for lunch, even though you know it was pretty much bullshit. She was just using you to get to the other women. Uh, because at the time, nobody really cared to even address Nene or be around Nene. You know, but look how smooth Nene got back in now. And got everybody, I ain't going to say totally 100% on her side. But they all were talking to Nene. They all gave Nene love and kisses. So, can you? What, what's up? You look like the odd woman out towards the end of the season. So, I, I, girl, you tell me who winning. I don't know. It don't seem like it's you. And then Candy, Candy uh, from what Eva said, is a class A instigator. They showed a clip back when she was talking to Mike, her husband. And she was calling um, Candy Salt Bay and all this stuff. You know, I'm like, girl, these supposed to be your friends? Uh, mm, mm. I don't know which one Eva swing. She swing like she like fighting everybody out there she ain't got no side okay she's on her own side and uh Portia just got on into eva and ken at the same time she was really telling eva she was a bottom barrel bitch i was like woo, and then she was at the bottom <laughs> you know on the lineup how they had them. i'm like okay okay the shady braided bunch out here oh it was a hot mess Portia said, you keep talking about my daughter, I'm going to have to give you a little milliwop <laughs> in your head. I was like, wait a minute, Portia. Wait a minute. We sent you to class, baby. We sent you to anger management. And he don't talk about you about that situation. Don't get caught, okay? Don't get caught. But then she ended up getting caught on camera, too, when she had, you know, caught herself hanging on to the cameraman's shirt and you know the other stuff we didn't get to see but better glad you know it's just true to form and he said don't get caught <laughs> so when you're doing the do to somebody in a negative way no don't put it on camera because then it's just there forever it's archived in our brains and in social media so she was all cool she was cool about that but Portia about them hand honey she's the only one that i know is about that life candy talks about that life but Portia been about that life okay she don't show her she would get you honey she ain't got to knock you aside your head and scratch and all this stuff she'll just drag you literally from your head around the room if she wants to okay uh but anyway moved on from that situation uh kenya was talking bad about nene and Wendy Williams, and, you know, of course, Candy had to throw her two cents in, talking about it was a strategic move, and Kenya was trying to say that they're not friends. That's not a real friendship. I'm not like, Kenya, who, who are you really friends with? Because everybody that you call yourself friendships with or have a friendship with, you talk about them, and you try to embarrass them, especially Cynthia Bailey. Then you try to go and say, Candy worked too much. She If she had all what she had, she wouldn't be working. I'm like, Kenya, who you fooling, girl? You'll be working till the till the dollar jobs dry up. Okay, so don't even come there with that. But Portia came with some receipts, y'all. Portia came with some receipts showing uh well she was really, you know, saying that she didn't want to out out the person altogether, but she had receipts, current receipts that happened on season 12 okay and uh she was saying i got it she read us a little bit and can't i mean king was looking all nervous and stuff like nene was looking nervous when 
uh, Kenya called herself having receipts on Nene and stuff, but it was nothing, honey. Kenya had old ass receipts that we had treaded water with, and it, it just is what it is. It was three years, three or four years ago. The receipts Kenya was talking about, like, Kenya, shut up. You're gonna bring receipts, bring it in this season, okay? We want to hear it, we want it fresh, hot off the grill. You what I'm saying, and um. Portia had her receipts, honey. She had them. She told Andy what she had. She read them, and Andy was anxious to see it himself, honey. He said, Portia, send me the receipts. <laughs> he just kept saying it, send it, send it, send it, send it, send it. I want the proof. I want the proof. I want the proof, which would show the pudding is correct, okay? Whether the pudding is chocolate, vanilla, or I don't know, okay? And Portia said, I got you, boo. And she was just went and on her phone, was just, you know, I guess pushing uh, forwarding, messaging, all that stuff. So I said, "Ooh, I can't wait to uh, part reunion two, so we can get them receipts or three. How many of they have? I hope it ain't number two. They wrap this shit up because you know it was just cool. It was okay. I kind of like the visual form. They should do. They can continue to do this. We don't really need to see them, you know, uh, doing a reunion where they all on the sofa because seems like they don't act as shady and uh, froggy like they doing here." So they gave it to us, you know. We didn't expect it. We didn't want some of them to be verbal, especially Candy. We want her to sit down and shut up, okay, pretty much. Because she wouldn't have did all of this, okay. She wouldn't have came through. Then we had Tanya. You know, she was agreeing with a lot of things Portia was saying. You know, they best buds and stuff. So, um, yeah. But China, I'm, I can't wait to see them receipts for Andy to say, ooh, yes, Kenya Moore really was talking about coming for Miss Cynthia. No, if I, if y'all read what I read, you would question uh, Kenya's motives and why she wrote what she wrote about Cynthia. Because that's not friendship material what she wrote. That's why I'm waiting on him to say. Because that's what uh, Portia was trying to tell us. But she said she wasn't going to out her out all the way. But she had current receipts Oh, uh, Miss Kenya talking about Cynthia and Candy looking all stupid and stuff. Like, girl, it's all finna come out. Yes, it is. It all finna come out. We're gonna hear about them receipts, honey. Yeah. So while you're trying to get Portia and Portia explain herself of, you know, yes, she was talking about Nene like a doll. Yes, she did. And then Nene back to her. So yeah, I was talking about Portia like a doll too. And so what? We back cool. What? What is it? What you know I'm like? Go on and spread your own tea, Portia and Nene. Go on and spread your own tea. So they ain't got nothing on y'all. Because y'all already said y'all talked about each other like a doll. So what now, Candy? What now, Kenya? What you going to say? What you going to do? What your girl? Come on. But honey, I tell you, don't text nothing. Because now Cynthia was like, you mean we, we've been working on a friendship we've been building. And she's still saying something about me. Yes, I want to see those texts. Honey, Portia was like, I got them, honey. I got them. I'm telling you, girl. I'm trying to tell you. Don't be boo-boo boo the fool all your life. And then Candy going to come out. Well, you know, Nene's on her uh, apology tour. And she started telling Nene that uh, she going to uh, be embedded in her L MF brain. And, you know, there's all this stuff. Like, Candy, stop jumping, Froggy. Because if you was in that same little couch and, and y'all was sitting close to each other you wouldn't even do that you you wouldn't do it so i i don't understand where you're coming from all right i don't understand where you're coming from candy girl but that's all i had guys of what i saw uh from tonight's episode y'all get down in the comments and y'all tell me what y'all saw what y'all thought about tonight's episode because i i really think portia brought it it's large portia brought that mess she brought it, brought it, brought it. And I was here for it. Yes, I was. I was here for all that. <laughs> and then some more. But we needed to mute Kenya because she was just totally not saying nothing. She wasn't saying nothing. Eva wasn't saying nothing. I, it would have been better for just to hear a little bit more from Cynthia. A little bit more from Tanya. Some from Marlo. And, and you know, because the rest of it. It it, 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 ooh, it was a hot mess. Kenya was just digging a hole, just digging a hole, just digging a hole. Especially when she talking about her and Mark going to counseling and they working on their relationship and this that. I'm like, girl, stop it. We don't want to hear that lie anymore. You need to just end it and, and move forward and, and whatever because that, that was some bullshit. Because Candy was trying to talk about Wendy Williams and Nene's relationship and Kenya was trying to say, that ain't no real friendship. Well, Kenya, we can say the same about your marriage. That ain't no real marriage y'all got going on. Then she's going to sit up there and show us a uh, wedding certificate. 
And I'm like, where can we? Can you send it to Andy? Can you let Andy validate that girl? Cause you you really didn't show it that well in the camera where you could like read it real slow or whatever. I'm like, girl. And then while you had to, you know, block us, I'm like, uh, uh-uh, I can't, I can't with that, can you? And you had us. Uh, Okay, it's, it's just to the point whether we're going to believe it or whether we're not going to believe it. And I still don't believe it. Okay, can you? I don't. I still don't believe it. But anyway, it just is what it is. So, y'all get on in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about it. Um, and I'll see y'all next video. But don't forget to share, like, and definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And, yes, that's my girl, Portia. She defended herself royally. I really appreciate her, Kenya. She's just digging a hole further on down the yard. You know, digging a big ass grave for a cell, trying to, you know, talk about it. Nene did her own little thing. Candy did her own little thing. Cynthia did her own little thing. And Eva just shouldn't have showed up. <laughs> okay. But that's all I had, guys. And I'll see y'all next video. Peace and deuces.